Jesus Christ, why do I try to do a podcast after a fucking show? Huh? I just want to wind down and add to my fucking pasty belly. That's what I want to do. I want to go down to the hotel kiosk and go get some fucking Oreo cookies and then some of those nuclear orange crackers. And you eat the orange crackers first. You get the salt going like, yeah, 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 right? And then you fucking throw the sugar down your throat. And you wake up the next day and your your teeth look like a fucking fruit punch thing. I don't know what. Anyways, I haven't been boozing out here and I'm out of sorts. And um, so now, like, I guess I'm going to smoke cigars. Like, can I just fucking try and do something healthy? I watched this whole thing online that creeped me the fuck out about the bacteria in your gut. You know, it was funny as hell. I actually clicked on this thing and they got me. And I thought it was like one of these conspiracy theory uh, videos, but it was actually an advertisement thing. Because for like the first 10 minutes, like an asshole, I'm watching this. And this guy's talking about food in this country, being the United States. And he's going just like, he's going like the video they don't want you to see. And he kept going, they, they this and they that and all this fucking bullshit. And, and he was just talking about how in your gut, you basically you have 80, 80% good bacteria and 20% bad bacteria. And if you keep it at that balance, you won't be lethargic. You'll have energy and you'll basically be a, a healthy person. And, it, you know, for the most part, they think that that's the, the best balance to have to not get uh, cancer and that type of shit. So I'm watching this shit and they're talking about probiotics, foods with uh, probiotics like yogurt and fucking uh, what's that? What's that fucking shit that looks like onions, but it isn't sauerkraut. All right, looks like caramelized onions that never turned brown. It looks like me as a caramelized onion, right? <laughs> Sauerkraut, right? Olives, pickles, that type of shit has probiotics. That's the good bacteria in your gut. And the 20% shit, uh, that stuff is actually, believe it or not, this is really fucked up. And, and when you talk about your your mortality... The 20% 20 of the bacteria, what they call the bad bacteria, is its job is to basically eat you when you die. I know. I don't know. That's what the video said. I'm not a doctor. Don't take this. You do the fucking research. So basically, because the food in our country is such fucking poison, I guess, what is happening to a lot of people is that the 20% is getting too high and the 80 is dropping the good versus the bad. And it reaches a tipping point where the, the, the bad bacteria outweighs the good bacteria and it starts taking over and it starts fucking eating away at you <laughs> like you're dead and it can get all the way up into your fucking brain and you start craving the sugars and the salts. This is not why I'm talking about this stuff. Now, I don't know if this is true because in the end of it, they, of course, had a pill that was going to solve all of this. And God knows I didn't go to medical school. Not like you, you needed me to tell you that shit. You could just tell that by the way I try and read out loud, right? But anyways, I think the core of what they were saying was true because it sounded good. I'm being totally honest. I didn't look up any of this shit. So I'm like, you know what? Yogurt has probiotics in it. I'll start eating yogurt like a fucking twinkle toes there. So I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to start. I'm going to. What are you going to do, Bill? I'm going to fucking. I'm going to eat some yogurt, right? So what I want But I want to get the good yogurt. All right. I don't want to get the yogurt that just says all natural or says 100% healthy for you. Um, no trans fats and all that shit because you know those 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 big time corporate fucking food makers they found a way to get around all of that shit. Basically, what they did was they got their own people in the F FDA or whatever the fuck it is. They they find loopholes where they could you know they they draw a picture of a farm with the sun the sun behind it, 100 percent natural, organic, and all that. And it isn't. You know they're down there beating the chickens, right? Cutting their beaks off. The big fucking breast and they're tipping over and shit. That's that's basically still what you're eating. And they can write 100% organic and all that crap. They, they figured out a way around it. So I'm sitting there trying to find, like I looked up all natural yogurt. I'll do it right now. Just bear with me here. All right? Just the amount of, you can't find it. I, or at least I don't know how to find it. I don't know how to find a reputable, reputable uh, website that I can trust. 
um, that will tell me basically where where I where the 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 thing that says 100% organic that actually is organic. So I just looked up organic yogurt, and uh, and this is this is the stonyfield.com. That's the one that comes up. I don't know what their deal is, so I click on these guys, like Wallaby Yogurt, Strauss Family Creamery dot com. Now that's a great name for a corporate fucking farm. Is they'll call it the Strauss Family Creamery, All right? Family was fucking whacked. They am buried underneath the farm. <laughs> but what killed me is I, I go on these these websites and I click on them. And then they have like big like corporate fucking advertisement in the side. So it's just like you guys you guys are in bed with the devil here. I mean, maybe these guys are real. I, maybe I actually finally. This shit looks real now. I don't fucking know. It's like when you go to like Edmonds Blue Book or Edmonds and you're trying to find the actual price of a car when you go to buy it and then you look in the side and like Chevrolet is paying for advertising on there and like that is like a major red flag. It's like if you're underlying every car salesman at Chevrolet letting them know what a fucking Lumina actually costs you, they still make that fucking thing. The Lumina guy, the Lumina, right? Why would they advertise? Does any of this make any sense? Just can you guys tell me, where do I go? Where is there a website that can actually tell me where the good food is? Where the food is that that's, says it's organic and actually is organic? Oh, Jesus, did I just open up a fucking can of worms with that one? All these fucking people are just going to... The amount of shit that's going to be written to me and the amount of it that's going to have liberal or Obama... I don't know, you know? Like, what the fuck? I, I retweeted something the other day about how they're trying to get rid of a lot of the f freedom of speech on the Internet. You know, the amount of racists on there. I don't know how bad an idea that would be sometimes. But generally speaking, they're trying to sew it up, right? So it's this really creepy article about how they're going about doing it and pushing it through Congress and all this shit. Uh, so I retweet it because it's interesting. And I figure maybe somebody smart will look at it and maybe they can do something about it because I'm too fucking stupid. So I retweet it. And then somebody writes back, right? So you're surprised that Obama lied? That's what they write. And it's just, I swear to God, those kinds of comments, I actually feel like those people who write those are fake. I don't believe that they're actual citizens. I think they work for the government and they do that just to start that stupid Republican Democrat arguing with each other so nothing gets done. You know what I mean? It's just the assumption that, like, it's like I didn't vote for the guy. The guy doesn't control the fucking internet. He doesn't do anything. The guy fucking makes 400 grand a fucking year. Makes 400 grand a year. He's set up to be bribed. That's why I don't vote Democrat or Republican at that level. It's bullshit. It's fucking over, okay? This is just really interesting. This is going to happen. I'm just trying to get it out there. And you're going to, rather than having people read this, and if it is true and they want to change it, rather than going down that road, you're going to try to knock it off fucking course with that bullshit. So, uh, I don't know. i got to pat myself on the back because I actually didn't take the bait. Probably because I only have 18 characters to call this guy a cunt or whatever the fuck they give you on, on Twitter. But, um, I don't know. Can you do me a favor? Can somebody, just for the full love of God start a fucking movement where people stop doing that. Stop fucking. Well, it's because the Republicans uh, forget it. It's over. All right. The argument's over. Um, anyway, I don't know what I'm talking about either guys. All right. I'm fucking wiped out here. Uh, let's, Hey, if you guys, seriously, I know I was fucking around, but if you guys know any way that I can figure out what is really organic shit and what isn't, cause I even know at those farmers markets that a lot of that stuff is from corporate farms and they just write a bunch of horse shit on it. So, you know, you might as well just go to the grocery store. I don't understand why, I guess, money. Why they're so hell-bent on fucking doing that to the food. But whatever, you know. The older I get, the harder it is for me to stay in shape. So I, I got to try to make sure. Plus, with all the cigar smoking and that, I got to try to do something. All right? So if you can help me out, I would appreciate it.